President Tinubu missing in action, holidays in France as Nigerians are being killed, going to bed hungry, says PDP. Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has claimed that over N20 trillion has been looted by the ruling All Progressives Congress leaders from Nigeria's treasury within the last eight years and nine months. This was stated in a press statement issued by the party's National Publicity Secretary, Hon. Debo Alaganagba on Tuesday while responding to the earlier claim by the ruling APC that the opposition parties were behind protests against economic hardship in the country. The party criticized President Bola Tinubu's government and the APC for politicizing the protest, claiming that threatening Nigerians for exercising their democratic and constitutional right to protest in the face of misrule, poverty, hunger, killings, and other harrowing experiences demonstrates the APC's insensitivity and disregard for the country's deteriorating situation. The statement reads, This approach by the APC, instead of listening to the people, is not only offensive but akin to pushing Nigerians to the wall and daring them to do their worse. It is an assault on the sensibility of the people that rather than providing answers to how the Tinubu-led APC government in a space of nine months turned the nation's economy upside down leading to terrifying food scarcity and catastrophic high cost of living, the APC is seeking to label and clamp down on the suffering masses. The APC is insensitive to the fact that because of its policies more than 104 million citizens have sunk deeper into poverty, Nigerians can no longer afford their daily meals with families now going to bed on empty stomach as poverty rate soars to over 46 percent. Any government that has an idea of macroeconomic policy management ought to have recognized that the suffocating policies of abrupt increase in the pump price of petroleum products, high cost of electricity and arbitrary floating of the Naira as executed by the Tinubu administration without due considerations would have excruciating consequences to the economy as being witnessed today. These thoughtless policies by President Tinubu and the APC are responsible for the crippling of the productive sector with 28% inflation rate, crashing of the Naira from N167 to over N1500 to a dollar, closure of millions of businesses and mass exodus of international companies from Nigeria resulting to a distressing 41% unemployment rate and unbearable pressure on millions of families across the country. Today. Nigerians are resorting to suicide while thousands of our promising youths are leaving the country in droves. Is it not provocative that in the last eight years and nine months, instead of deploying the nation's resources for the improvement of critical infrastructure and the productive sectors, Nigerians have witnessed massive looting of over N20 trillion by APC leaders and its officials in government through direct pillaging of government vaults, budget padding, contract inflation, oil subsidy scam. Palliative racketeering and phony programs which have no benefit and consequence to the lives of the citizens? Added to these are the nauseating reports of seething corruption in the Tinubu administration including exposed looting of billions of naira by cabinet ministers and senior officials as reported in the embezzlement of palliative funds without concrete actions being taken by the government to investigate, recover and sanction those involved in the raging scam. Moreover, the APC and the Tinubu administration have remained insensitive to the mass killings, kidnapping and other acts of terrorism ravaging the country without proffering any concrete action plan and policies to address this multifarious consuming carnage. Since President Tinubu took office on May 29, 2023 no fewer than 5,000 Nigerians have been killed by terrorists apparently emboldened by the laid-back attitude and body language of Mr. President who has failed to show seriousness on issues of security or empathy to victims either by words or action. It is sad that in all of these, President Tinubu is missing in action as he holidays in France at the expense of the Nigerian Treasury. The APC must understand and come to terms with the fact that there is frustration in the land because of the suffocating economic and social policies, laid-back attitude to security and massive corruption in the Tinubu administration. Instead of being hypocritical by pointing fingers at the opposition, the APC should admit the failure of its policies and take urgent and concrete action to get President Tinubu to lift his knees off the neck of Nigerians so that the people can breathe, it added. Mean why? A Katsina state-born businessman and critic of the Nigerian government, Mahdi Shihu, has been arrested and detained by the police in Abuja. 
Sources told Sahara reporters that she who was arrested on Tuesday following a petition from the law office of a former Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, SAN, on behalf of the former minister and his family. A source close to Shihu confirmed the arrest and detention to Sahara reporters on Tuesday evening, saying the businessman and whistleblower was still being detained by the police. I was told that he was arrested pursuant to a petition written by the chambers of the former AGF, Abubakar Malami on behalf of Malami and his family. The letter came with the letterhead of A.A. Malami and Company. Law office and the petition is on behalf of Malami and his family. He was arrested by the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Monitoring Unit at the Force Headquarters in Abuja, the source said. The source, however, added that he didn't have the details of the petition. But Sahara reporters learned that his arrest could be connected to the allegations he made against Malami in the past. Meanwhile, Shihu's mobile phone lines were not available at the time of filing this report so he could not be reached. In June 2023, Shihu alleged that Malami and the then chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa tried to use the Naira redesign policy to install an interim government, which would have ensured that President Bola Tinubu did not emerge as president. He called for the arrest of Malami following the arrest of Bawa, tweeting, Arrest Malami now or release Bawa because, he nominated him. He supervised him. He teleguided him. Malami prosecuted cases selectively. He discharged and acquitted suspects by cherry-picking. He ignored several court orders. He holds the judiciary in contempt. According to Shihu, former President Muhammadu Buhari endorsed the policy without knowing there was a hidden agenda behind it. He also tweeted, Emma Feel, Bawa and ongoing investigation so far, for certain political, Ms. calculations, Malami prompted Bawa to write a memo to PMB recommending for Naira redesign. Malami endorsed the memo and forwarded to PMB, who blindly directed EME to implement. It was all about interim govt. Between November and December 2020, Shihu was also detained for 11 days between on the orders of the then Inspector General of Police, Muhammad Adamu. The IGP monitoring unit operatives arrested him over corruption allegations against then Katsina Governor, Aminu Bello Masari, then Secretary to the State Government, Mustafa Inua, other officials and contractors. Shihu, in a petition to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, accused the government of squandering N52 billion between 2015 and 2020, among others. But the FCT High Court ordered Shihu's release on December 18 and declared the applicant's arrest and detention as illegal. The court subsequently awarded N5 billion in damages against the Nigeria police and the IGP. He was rearrested on February 16, 2021, but the Federal High Court again ordered the police to release Shihu from detention. Thanks for watching.